from breaking news in a woman who killed seven-year-old Emily Jones in a park in Bolton in March has been sentenced to life in prison. Gerard Tubbs outside the court in Manchester. And she's going to be held in a, a secure hospital, Gerard. Yes, this is a, a truly uh, appalling case, a really sad story. Uh, Emily, you may remember, Mothering Sunday uh, this year, just before uh, full lockdown, had uh, gone with her father, Mark, uh, to Queen's Park in Bolton. Um, and Emily's mum, Sarah, was going for a jog there. They'd gone along to see her. And Emily had seen her mum and had asked her dad if she could scoot her off down uh, to meet her. He said yes. She went off calling to her mother. Uh, but unknown to any of them, a 30-year-old uh, Albanian, um, Eltiana Skana, who was a paranoid schizophrenic who should have been taking uh, medicine for that and hadn't been, was sitting on a bench and Emily scooted past her. Uh, Skana jumped up. She had bought a craft knife in a shop uh, and she um, killed, she slit her throat and killed Emily. Uh, uh, and she was arrested uh, and she obviously admitted it. She has been in custody, needless to say, uh, since. We heard from her father in court in an impact statement read out describing Emily uh, as the beat of her parents' hearts, the skip in their step. Uh, and the judge um, sentenced her, as you say, to be uh, detained under uh, Section 45A of the Mental Health Act. She has been imprisoned for life with a minimum of eight years, uh, but she will initially be treated at Rampton High Security Hospital. If she's deemed well enough to leave there, she will go on to serve the rest of her sentence in hospital. The judge said uh, she had to be punished because she had made the decision uh, to buy the knife. She had made the decision to kill someone. There was uh, an element of culpability uh, in her actions. Uh, most of her family, many of her family members, were in court, including her father, uh, but they didn't say anything. Uh, they left uh, with the judge's words ringing in their ears at the end of the sentencing hearing, uh, saying that they had conducted themselves with dignity throughout.